What's up KB family? How's it going? Today I am working on this Jeep. I am trying to figure out a bigger tailpipe. I just cut this whole mess out of here so I've just got it to the back of the cherry bomb. This is kind of what was on there. That's the hanger. Look at this. I don't know if you can see all that but <laughs> Yeah, that's what was on it. It sounded like crap. It was rattling. Um, my dilemma is, is it's too low. And it's not letting me push it up because they, because they welded in a hanger up here. And that actual hanger is supposed to be on the bottom of the pipe. And it's on the top. So the pipe is, you know, well, a diameter of the pipe. You know, it's two inches off. It needs to be up two inches. So I'm cutting that. Um, and I've got a football game today. It'll be my second one today for Bam Bam. So I want to try to jam this out. I got about two hours to do it. Um, so yeah, once I cut this, I'm going to get a jack underneath here, jack it up to where I want it. Then I'm going to start fabricating in tailpipes. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. Just, you know. I'm gonna use what I got, I guess. Um, you may notice the Sierra's not here. She just sold <laughs> again to the first guy that came. You guys are gonna start telling me I post this stuff too cheap, but um, I posted it for 3,600. It was a young kid, he came, he really wanted it. He was looking at it. He was trying to, you know, be hardcore and act like he didn't like it, but I could tell. I mean, I like it. I'm a truck guy, and I, you know, consider myself pretty fluent with cars. And uh, he's walking around it. He asked me if I'd take three grand for it, and uh, it's like, no. He's like, man, I could, I could do 3150. That's everything I got. Me being me, I said, yeah, I'll do 3150. Cause he don't know. I still made eighteen hundred dollars, <laughs> and you know. What was it, a week and a half, if that? So with the Silverado selling and this, you know, we're at just under seven grand in cars in one week. So, you know me, you know, I could have sat on it. I could have got probably 33, 50, 34, because it was posted at 36, but I made the call. I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm gonna get this thing out of here, make my money and run. Um, and that's the key when you're doing this, is getting the vehicles cheap enough, guys. You got to up your game, you know. You've seen me trying to up my game in the last few videos. Transmission, that thing is way out of my comfort zone. But we made a lot of money off it. And because I did that transmission, I knew about this spacer. So because I did this in the Silverado, I knew about this, which I bought the, the Sierra. And then we, we bolt the transfer case back in. You know, so going out of my comfort zone to do that tranny lined me up with two sweet deals. So that's where we're at. You know, we're sitting on a bunch of money now. We can go buy some more stuff. I got money to put into things. Um, I'm happy. I like it when I have money. I'm not so happy when I've just got a bunch of cars in the driveway. I mean, I like them, but I'd rather have money. I feel safer with money. So. That's where that is. I know you're probably gonna think I sold it too low, but it had a big old hole rusted in the box. Jeez, that's about the only thing wrong with it. It was a beautiful truck, it ran good. Oh, the front lower valence, um, you know, but who cares? I'm not gonna, I, I tried getting attached to it for a second, but you know, my money sense came back, thank God. So here we are working on this. I've got two hours before a football game. Let's get this going. I need to get a grinder out because I can't get my saws up in there to cut it. So we're going to grind that, get it hanging freely. We're going to jack it up. We're going to fabricate a pipe in there. Well, it's safe to say I'm really indecisive. I'm trying to figure out the best combination to get a pipe through that little gap, you know, or come underneath the leaf spring, something. But I don't have much room. So. I got that shock right in the way, so it's got to come through on an angle, over, straight through here. I can cut this out and make it wider, but 
Yeah, so that's what I'm working with. But for now, in case I don't get all this done, I'm rehanging the exhaust where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be up that high, so it's nice and tucked. Um, I got the back cut off it already back there. But we're gonna re-weld this hanger up in here. At least get it hanging where it's supposed to be. That way, if I don't get it done, he can still drive it. Um, and then I wanna work on, we have an exhaust leak right here. But I don't know if I want to. I can't really cut it back farther because there's no two sensor right there. So I may just throw some weld in there, patch up those pinholes. It'll just tighten it up, make it sound a little better. But yeah, for now, let's get this hanger in here. All right, we got the old hanger out, the new hanger welded in, three points of contact. That should hold, I think it'll hold pretty good. It's pretty solid, so now I can start working on this tailpipe. But I had to get this done in case I didn't have time to weld everything back in before we got to go to the game. So if steel has got to go somewhere, I know he's got to go to work in the morning. So now I have time to actually fabricate up a tailpipe, tack it together, get it together, and then weld it all in. This will hold for now. He's just got a direct exit. So for now, we'll do that. And I'll make something that goes out and around. Get rid of this weird freaking thing. It's time for some football. Cam's playing a game. We got to get up there. Got all my exhaust pipes <laughs> laid out. I did manage to get this thing welded up into place. So it's Brittany's birthday today. So everyone wish her a happy birthday. Um, we're trying to make it a special day. So we're going to go to this game. And then we're going to head out to Lake Michigan to the beach. Or at least the lake shore. And uh, find a nice restaurant to take her out to. Get the whole family out. And uh, just celebrate a little bit. So may have to pick this up tomorrow. Unless I can get back with enough time to... You know, still have daylight and time to make noise because grinders are loud. But, yes, make sure everyone wishes Brittany happy birthday. Right, Holden? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go do some football. But before we leave, let's just have a listen what this thing sounds like now without the rattle. So much deeper. So yeah, sounds good. I need to get some thicker oil in this thing. You can kind of hear the 4.0 chatter. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad when it's cold. That's the only reason I bought this. But once the oil heats up and thins out, you can kind of hear it on the, the rev down. But I think it sounds good. These 4.0s, it's hard to make them sound, you know, good per se. So they always sound like mail trucks. <laughs> the little mail Jeeps, the three cylinders. But we're getting there. Piece by piece, we'll get this thing turned around. All right, now we got to get to football.
up guys? We're back at our favorite place. Dead battery. Go part. All right, so we came up with a plan for this week and uh, yeah, we're gonna buy a car from Copart, hopefully, if we can get the bid right. We are gonna buy a car. So there the exhaust pipes lay and everything we've worked on for the last couple of days. Check this out though. I got this whole set, this whole set, this set of uh, ratchet wrenches, and this set of floppy ratchet wrenches. I got all that stuff off Facebook Market for 50 bucks for all of it. Can't even beat it. So we just got off the Copart auction. We ended up buying something. So you're gonna have to stay tuned. I've got a Copart video from yesterday. We just went there yesterday, looked at everything. So we've got some video we've got to put up. Um, we've been busy, guys. Football, rain, birthday parties, um, more birthday parties, <laughs> more games. So we've been super busy, but uh, stay tuned. We've got a cool part video coming up, and then we're going to reveal what we bought. You're not going to believe what we bought and how cheap we got it. So you're going to have to stay tuned. So remember, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.